Hi guys, in this in this video I want to cover security of control panels real quick and talk about Zoom Admin security and um, how it's different from other control panels. So usually when you have a control panel on your server, they open a some kind of port, right? Um, like in the case of C panel, I forget the port number, but basically generally you go the the server IP slash whatever port number that the, um, that the control panel opens for you to kind of log in into that specific control panel. Other applications still open a port. Um, and the reason for this is because they want to kind of allow you to manage the control panel. Uh, you need basically a way to access it. And because they're not cloud-based, and we do have a cloud-based uh, you know, video on explaining what cloud-based uh, means on, on zoomadmin.com. But basically, uh, you know, the, when you have a control panel that's cloud-based, it doesn't get installed on your server. If you look at the, our, the, my URL here, it's not a server-specific URL. So you can manage multiple servers in one place without really you know using the server's IP or anything like that so and this will basically when you create a port on when you open a port on the server the downside is that that port gets opened to the public right unless you use firewall rules to manage it and then it becomes a headache because then um, then it blocks your access to the website to the control panel as well as, as if your domain if your IP address changes you have to go back and change the firewall rules and things like that so most people leave it open and the downside is you know if that control panel has any loopholes uh, security holes people can get access to it and and you know they will have the login screen and try to log in to your server and do all kinds of things so again it's 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 been how it's how it's been working for a while now i mean think you know things like cpanel has been have been using the port type of mechanism for a long time and the reason because because there is no other easy way to do that when you install the control panel on the server now, there's other tools that, you know, are sort of cloud-based, but they are still need to open a port to communicate with control panel uh, platform. Um, so in most cases, I've pretty much not seen any other control panel that doesn't open a port on your server. So how Zoom Admin works, we do not open ports on your server. We, we don't directly have access to the server um, and that's why you know when, when you see we also mentioned that it works everywhere including your your local VMs zoom admin will work with local VMs as well even if there is no direct connection to your local desktop right it's not configured but zoom admin will still work because it's it, it's been built with a different technology in mind and those of you who are technical i'll quickly explain how it's been how it's been set up we use what's what's called message queuing mechanism to allow us to uh, still have a communication with your server without having a direct access to the server and it's it's pretty secure because we don't open ports uh, to your server and it works behind firewalls as well it's overall more secure and that's how a larger enterprise applications you know work when they want to scale up as well um, so this is how zoom admin security is done it's not so we don't open the port all you need is internet access to um, inside your server which most of you have um and then you don't have to open any ports right and when you want to manage your server you just log in into um, zoom admin uh, control panel on, on our website here 
and then and then you can see your server once you it's connected you can go inside the server and start managing it and as you can see we don't there's no specific we don't use your ip address or anything like that it, uh, communication is done via message queues and we don't open any ports um so that's kind of what i wanted to cover for this video uh, if you do have any questions feel free to reach out to me directly uh, michael at zoomadmin.com I'm the founder of Zoom Admin. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel Zoom Admin to see more demo videos. Thanks again. To continue watching, click on one of the following videos and click the ZA icon in the middle to subscribe to our channel. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. It really helps us with YouTube algorithm. And comment below if you have any questions or you can also email me directly, michael at zoomadmin.com. Thanks again.